Hey guys, it's Matt from Total MTG here, and it's Deck Tech Tuesday. And this week, um, I am showcasing a new deck of mine, a little home brew. We're going to call it Mardu Madness because some of the spells in here you've got to play are definitely going to make you mad. Um, they're going to test your mana, uh, but I have played the deck in testing, and I assure you it does work. So you might look at some of the double white, double red, double black and think, God, you're crazy. But it is called Mardu Madness. You will either annihilate your opponent or you could get Mana Screw, which has happened to me a couple of times. But it is definitely a fun deck to play and it's got some lovely shadows cards in as well. A few little shadows. Uh, maybe one. One very good one, maybe. Right, so we are going to go off and start with the creatures. We don't run many creatures, but they are very good. We run Kalitas, Traitor of Get, absolutely brilliant. It's been so, I mean, I would say overperforming, but it's a good card. Um, just wins your games, Kalitas, I've found, that I've, you know, since I've played with it. Uh, cost 4 to come down, so 3 4 life link. If a creature an opponent controls would die, you get a 2 2 black zombie. You can sack him to put counters on. And basically, it's red, you know, red, black, white. We are removal city in this deck. So we've got three Kalitas. Then we go on to our second creature, and it's our only second creature. It's Limvala the Preserver. Four and double white, so you can see what I mean about the mana. Uh, it's a 5-5. Five, five. When it enters the battlefield, if, you have, um, if your opponent has more life, you gain five life. And then if they have more creatures, you get a 3-3 three, three white angel. So we run a couple of them. So we haven't got creatures, but we've got my favourite thing in magic, which is a Planeswalkers. So we start off with a one of Nahiri from the new set, Shadows. Brilliant guy, it's a four drop Planeswalker. You may discard a card if you do draw a card, the plus two, minus two, exile target, enchantment, tapped artifact or creature. And then you can search low for an artifact or creature card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library, it gains haste and return it to your hand. So obviously with Livala, that'd be pretty good. Come in, get possibly get the five life, put it back, put it down again. Absolutely brilliant. The next Planeswalker is Obnicholas Reignited. You can draw a card and you lose one life. You can destroy a target creature. Destroy, destroy. That's what we do in this deck. So we run a couple of them. Then we go on to the wonderful Charger Flamecrawler. The plus one puts two, three, one, one elementals down with haste and you can swing in. Nought, you can discard all cards from your hand, then draw that many cards. And the minus X, you know, deals X damage to each creature, so we can clear the board with that, potentially. You know, if there's a little weenie decks, we can just go and clear the board. A couple of them. And then the, the great Soaring Grim Nemesis, absolutely beast of a card when I played with this so far. Um, cost six to come down. You can reveal the top card of your library, put that card in your hand, and each opponent loses life to its mana cost. Which is just, you know, we've got a lot of big stuff in here, so that's pretty cool. The minus X deals X damage to target creature or place and you gain the life. And it's got a big minus nine as well. So Sorin, I probably would like another Sorin in here. But I've got one at the moment, but it's doing pretty well, the one. So let me go on to the other spells. So it's all basically kill. So from Shadows, we're using Lightning Axe. Um, does cost one, you discard a card or pay five, but it does five damage. You can discard to that, a couple of Lightning Axe. Grass of Darkness, give creatures minus four, four, one target creature, double black, brilliant. Uh, I'm trying some new cards here, so we've got Fall of the Titans, um, you can play it for its surge if we play maybe like a little, you know, lightning axe, and then we can do Fall of the Titans. Versatile, deals X damage to each of up to two target creatures or players, couple of them, three of them. Um, brilliant card, Colligan's Command, used in modern uh, use two of the abilities, return target card from your graveyard, target player you can get them to discard, destroy artifact or two damage to creature or player. So we run three of them. We got a one of languish, just to, you know, double black again, just so we can clear the field. Planar outburst, destroy all non-land creatures, so another sort of mass wrath, hopefully. Painful truce, brilliant card, we've got three colours, so hopefully we'll be drawing three cards with painful truce. <coughs> Brilliant card, Painful Truth, really like that card. Uh, Radiant Flames, brilliant on the early game. You know, gets us down, hopefully clear the field early so we can get to our Planeswalkers and Creatures. And also good with um, Kalitas, because it does obviously three damage. If there's a lot of three power creatures, Kalitas still survives, which I found obviously in testing. And then we get two two zombies down. So we got two of them in there. Possibly might up that to three. 
uh, Ruinous Path, a couple of them, destroy a creature or planeswalker. Uh, then from the new set, going to try a Burn Within. Uh, another X spell, X damage to target creature or player. If it's dealt damage this way, you and loses indestructible to end of turn. If that creature would die, exile it. So we got a couple of them. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have a one of Tragic Arrogance, which, you know, if they swarm in the field, you can cut them down a bit and then basically just let them have one of each, you know, creature enchantment and planeswalker. So that was the deck, guys. As you can see, you know, it's a bit mad. There's double white, double black, double red, but it does seem to work. But, you know, don't be put off by the colours. You will get mana screwed sometimes and that, you know, that, that can happen in, in any kind of deck, you know. Perhaps not mono, but it can definitely happen in two colour decks. I've had it, I'm sure we've all had it. But this, you know, has a lot of kill, and these big guys here can come in for the win. So the land base, we're going to the land base now. We've got a couple of smouldering marshes there, three there, sorry. And we've got some needle spires um, turning into creatures as well, which can help us. Shambling vents, obviously turns into a white black elemental with lifelink. And we've got a plains there, and we've got some mountains. Some lovely swamps. And that is the mana base. Obviously we have no fetches, so it's a bit bit of a problem. Um, I'm gonna tinker around with the mana base, maybe try and some you know some more other cards. But at the moment it seems to be working pretty well. So, you know, I'm gonna leave it as it is. I might want to add an extra plane, maybe another um, I don't really want to add too many shambling vent, you know, stuff like that because you know, I want to be able to play my kill spells when I can. I don't want, you know, coming in tapped and slowing me down. We need to clear the field because we haven't got a lot of creatures. So that was obviously the plan. So we go to the sideboard now. So the sideboard, we can change around a bit, be a bit more controlly again. We've got a couple of transgressors in mind, and then we've got some duresses. Take awkward things out of people's hands. Uh, Tears of Valakut um, to deal with flyers. Can't be countered by spells or abilities. Just fire damage to target creature with flyer. You know, hit the dranas and stuff like that. I've got a one off Deathbringer Regent if we need another creature. When it enters the battlefield, you cast it from your hand. There are five or more other creatures. You get to destroy all the creatures. So a Wrath creature. Very good with this deck. Quarantine Field. One of them. Infinite Obliteration. Just one of them. Um, ultimate price, target creature, um, you destroy a target monocolored creature, so a bit more kill there if we need to change up the spells. Virulent Plague obviously works against Kalitas, but you know, we might need that. Um, Pia Kieran, uh, I can never pronounce this one, Pia Kieran Nalar. Uh, an extra creature gives us, you know, some more blockers with the two colours Thopters, and we can sacrifice them doing the damage as well. And we've got a one of Roast. So guys, this is Mardu Madness. Obviously not the cheapest deck to make, but it is very good. I've played in testing, I loved it. I will be rocking this. I like playing different decks, you know, things that, you know, I like all in or all out kind of decks like this. You're either gonna just come in and annihilate or you're gonna get screwed. But, you know, that's part of the fun of Magic, you know, playing casual Magic. But I think this deck can be very competitive as well. You know, just tinker with the land base, see what the best way is to do it. Um, any ideas for the deck let me know um, hope you've enjoyed this week's deck tech tuesday uh, like i said if you do make the deck let me know you get on as always and um, if you're new to us please press that subscribe button we're nearly at a thousand subs we're nearly there come on we're going to get to a thousand giveaway very soon anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you again next week cheers guys